Dear students, in this session, we will learn how to write the MATLAB code to compute an endpoint DFT of a given sequence and to plot a magnitude and the phase spectrum. DFT is the discrete Fourier transform, is one of the most important tool in digital signal processing, which enable us to find the spectrum of the finite duration signal. Why DFT? The output of the Fourier transform, it's a continuous time signal, this signal cannot be processed by a digital computer. We can say that the digital computer cannot work with a continuous time signal. We need to take some samples of X of T and analyze the sample instead of original signal. We will discuss the formula used to compute DFT and IDFT of a signal. The DFT of a signal X of K is equal to summation N is equal to 0 to N minus 1 x of n w n power k n where x of n is the signal input and n is the number of sample k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 w n is the twiddle factor is equal to e power minus j 2 pi by n the idft of a signal x of n is equal to 1 by n summation k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k w n power minus k n where WN is the twiddle factor. To compute the DFT of a signal using a MATLAB, we need to follow the following step. First, we have to get the input from the user. After getting the input, we have to find the DFT and the IDFT using the direct equation. Plot the DFT and the IDFT of a given sequence using the MATLAB function stem and display the output. The MATLAB function used in this particular program is input, length, exponential, display, subplot, stem, x label, y label, title, absolute, and angle. The operator to be used in the code colon, star, dash, bar. You will see the calculation behind this. x of k is nothing but the DFT of a signal. Here the input is 1, 2, 3, 4. Using the matrix method, we are going to compute the DFT of a signal. This the twiddle matrix we have to write. Followed by that, we have to give the input 1, 2, 3, 4. Take the first row, multiply with this column. The second row, multiply with this column. The third row with this column. The fourth row with this column. If you keep multiplying, you will be getting the answer as 10 minus 2 plus 2j minus 2 minus 2 minus 2j. The DFT of a signal x of k is 10 minus 2 plus 2j minus 2 minus 2 minus 2j. In the next step we have to compute the magnitude and the angle. The magnitude is root a square plus b square. Angle of a plus jb is nothing but tan inverse of b by a. The magnitude of x of k is 10 2.82 2.82. The angle of x of k 0, 2.35, minus 3.14, minus 2.35. The pi here is 3.14. Based on the quadrant, the angle will vary. The next step, we will see how to execute this program. So before writing any code, we have to start with CLC, clear all, close all. Clear the command window and close all the existing file and try to get the input from the user. We have to use the keyword input. Here we have to enter the number of sample and enter the sequence. The next step, we have to calculate the length of x of n by using the keyword length. The next step, we are going for plotting the signal. The total number of plot in this code is eight. So we have used the subplot, subdividing the plot into two rows and four columns and pointing the first plot. Followed by that, we have to give the stem, plotting the input. The stem of n comma x, then assign the x label, y label, and title, everything within the bracket and within the quotes. The next step, we have to compute the DFT by taking n is equal to zero to n minus one. We have used the colon operator here. Here the step increment is one and k is equal to n. The next step, we have to find the twiddle matrix. 
exponential minus j star 2 star pi by n star n dash star k. The dash represents a transpose. We'll be getting the 4 into 4 matrix. That matrix we are going to multiply with the input. So for the input, we have taken your dash. Again, you are changing the rows into columns. If you see the size of this x dash, it's nothing but 4 into 1. After getting the output x, we have to plot the signal by taking x. So before that, we have to use the subplot, pointing the second plot, a third plot and the fourth plot by taking 242, 243, 244 and plot the signal x, the magnitude of x. So we have to use the keyword ABS, the angle of x. And followed by that, we have to assign the x label, y label, title. In the next step, we have to find the IDFT of the signal. So when you're finding the IDFT of the signal, we have to give the DFT as, as the input. So gx is equal to, we have to find what is the length of the DFT. We have taken n is equal to 0, 1, colon, gx minus 1. Just we have to plot the DFT of a signal by taking the subplot as 2, 4, 5 and pointing the fifth plot. And we have to assign the x label y label and the title. The next step we have to compute the IDFT of the signal. So for that once again we have to assign n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 by taking k is equal to n. So we have to find the total factor exponential j star 2 star pi by n star n dash star k. In the next step you have to calculate the next step you have to calculate x is equal to w into x by n. So you're going to plot the signal by taking 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 7 and 2, 4, 8 pointing the sixth plot 7 and 8. We have to plot the input and the plot the output plot the absolute, plot the angle. If you see this x, this x is nothing but your original signal. The next step we have to pass the input by taking the number of sample as 4. After typing the sample just we have to press the enter key. After setting the sample, the next step you have to give the input for four sample. So whenever you're typing the input, we have to use the square bracket. Try to enter the sample one, two, three, four. Press the enter key. After pressing the enter key in the workspace, you can able to see the value of n. n is equal to 4 and small n is equal to 0 to 3. k is equal to 0 to 3. And this is the output of capital X. For this program, we have to get the capital X as 10, minus 2, minus 2j, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2j. And if you see the magnitude here, the magnitude here is 10. And here it is 2.82 and here it is 2 and 2.82. And the phase is nothing but your 0, 2.35, minus 3.14 and minus 2.35. These are the viva questions from this program. Thank you all.